Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is April the 13th, Wednesday, 2022, and this is episode number 367 of your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. <laughs> Small business owners, solopreneurs, we are just days away from the ending of tax filing for 2022. We get a little bit of extra days because I don't think you have you have until midnight of Monday, April the 18th. But hopefully you've got your taxes filed. I'm just about wrapping up mine. Hopefully within the next 24 hours I'll have them completed. But today we're going to talk about uh, TurboTax, Tax Act, and Free Tax USA. Now, if you've listened to other episodes, we're in a week-long study of business taxes from deductions to how to file, uh, how to work with, apps to do to tracking. You know that I am absolutely 100% pro accountant. I think you should file accountants. If you run a small business, they're the experts. You should not be doing it yourself. You should be focused on your business. But today I realize as I wrap up this series, there's going to be small business people out there that maybe run a, a very small business and Fred, Fred, Fred. If you're going to do it yourself, what software would you use? Well, I'm going to answer that with business tip number one. Probably the oldest, the most common, and definitely the largest provider of do-it-yourself tax prep is TurboTax. And when I had a W-2 job, I would do my taxes and I would do, use TurboTax. Uh, since then, it's gone online. It has lots of features. It is the most expensive of the three recommendations I'm going to give you today. But it does come with live CPA and e EA support. Uh, again, it's 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 kind of it's a major player in the monopoly. <laughs> monopoly. It's a major player in uh, the online and PC version of tax filing, and it does support just about everything you could do in business. It is the most expensive of the recommendations. Business tip number two is one called Tax Act. Um, Investopedia recommends this particular software runs on PC or Mac as being the absolute best piece of software for partnerships or corporations. It's a little less expensive than uh, TurboTax, but uh, it still uh, is a pretty hefty fee-based uh, product, but it will walk you through in filing your taxes. But for those that are absolutely trying to save every dollar and are able to do it themselves, their third business tip today is called Free Tax USA. Now, for business owners, it's not going to be free, but for business owners, you're, you're max, it's going to max out about $22, which is pretty inexpensive relative to like TurboTax. It usually costs about $14.99 for your state filing, and then you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade for the $6.99 Deluxe, which is going to give you additional support, at least Monday through Friday, uh, from 10 to 6, something to take into consideration. Um, it's a great product. It's a little bit more simpler. It is completely online, so it is not going to be PC-based. So you're definitely going to want to use that. So those are some tips to take in consideration. If you are at the very end of this and you need some help, I want to give you three other suggestions that can be helpful for you as well. And that is, believe it or not, if you go to and Google the IRS free return prep, it will give you a list of local um, services that are free that will help you file. Also, you can Google VITA, which stands for Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. You can call them up on the phone. This is a great organization of um, people that will do tax filing totally for free. You can ask them questions. And then I want to end by saying you should call or visit your local library. There is usually people there that will help you, or they will point you in the right direction to get some free advice and free help. If you're not going to make the April 18th deadline, you can file 4846, and that will give you, uh, basically it's filing an extension, which gives you until October 17th. Now, it, it extends the time to file. You still will incur, uh, if you owe money, you're going to recur uh, penalties, et cetera, et cetera. But it is better than not filing, and you do need to do that by April 18th. So that's my advice to you today. Anything I learn, I throw the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep. <laughs>